The following is a fan-based parody. Mirai Nikki is property of Saikai Suno, Katakawa Shoten, Asrid, and Funimation. Please support the official release. Today I'll be hanging out with my new friend, Aruakisei. He should be here any minute now. Hi, Yuki! Hi, Yuno. Yuno? Come on, if we don't hurry up, the bus will leave without us. You're too late! Nah, just kidding. Wait a minute, Yuno. I'm supposed to be waiting for Aru to show up. Why are you here? Aru messaged me this morning. He said that he couldn't make it and that I should go instead. Oh, okay. Wait, why does the guy that you hate more than anybody else in the world have your cell phone number? I hate you more than anybody else in the world! Duly noted. May I please have your cell phone number? Sure. That bastard tricked me! No, he didn't. This episode of Mirai Nikki takes place partially in the past. So, things that have happened, haven't happened yet. Boy, I sure do love having two eyes. I don't know what I'd do if something ever happened to one of them. <laughs> little pig, little pig, no more escape. Okay, except for that. Why is there a typewriter in here? Hey! Huh? What are you doing? Escaping from a knife-wielding psychopath in a mask. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm looking for a knife-wielding psychopath in a mask. Well, stick around. He should be dropping by any second now. Oh, why is there a typewriter in here? See? Aha! I have you now, terrorist. Did he say terrorist? Wait a minute. Flashback! Listen up, boy. I just received word that both the terrorist and the serial killer are hiding out in the old abandoned university. I need our top men to go in and apprehend these dangerous criminals. Unfortunately, all of our top men are mysteriously absent, so I'm sending you in alone. Can't you at least come with me, sir? No, I'm very busy. Doing what? Inventory. Damn it, I only have one pair of handcuffs. I can't arrest them both. Looks like I'll just have to use the old-fashioned method. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. I should have run away while he was having the flashback. Two victims for the price of one? It must be my birthday. Oh, in that case, here's your present! Quick, let's find a place to hide while he's distracted! I've got a better idea. Let's get in your car and drive away. That is a better idea! So why did we run back into the building? Because I just remembered that I took a cab here. Idiot! Look at all these dresses! Yeah, look how ugly they are. So very, very ugly. You'd never see me wearing one of them. But what if the clothes you're currently wearing got so wet that you needed to change them to avoid catching a cold? Well, I guess that'd be the exception. But seriously, what are the odds of something like that even happening? I'll kill you, and then I'll find you! Not in that order. Probably a bad time to bring this up, but I really need to take a dump. Take these cuffs off so I can go to the bathroom. No! Maybe you didn't hear me. I said I need to take a dump. Take the goddamn cuffs off! How about this? We'll leave the cuffs on and I'll just stand outside the stall while you do your business. Or how about this? You take these cuffs off and wait outside the restroom. That way, you can keep a lookout for the serial killer and I can do my business in private. That does sound more logical. So why do we still have these cuffs on? Because I just remembered I'm scared of the dark. Bullshit. You just want to watch me poop. Oh, come on. What kind of sick, twisted, depraved bastard would do something like that? Stay tuned for our all-new reality show, Sitting on the Can. I'm going to love this show. Hey, I'm trying to read over here. Why did you break the toilet? It reminded me of you. How so? Because it was full of shit. Well, we can't have you running around in wet clothes or you'll catch a cold. If only there was some place we could go to find you a change of clothes. Oh wait! There is! Completely irrelevant costume origins are... good. Here, you can wear this one. I can spot at least three other outfits that don't look half as stupid as that one. They're probably a lot easier to move around in, too. I'd rather wear one of those. No, you're wearing this one! Why do you get to decide what I wear? Just put it on. Kind of hard to get changed when we're cuffed together like this. No problem, I'll just take the cuffs off. Wow, you look really cute. I'm a heartless, mass-murdering terrorist. Your compliments mean nothing to me. If that's true, then why are you blushing? I'm not bl blushing. It 
It's just hot in here, that's all. I'd sure love to tap that ass. Wait a minute. You took the cuffs off to let me get changed, but you wouldn't take them off to let me use the toilet. Or avoid getting killed? Well, when you put it like that, it makes me sound stupid. Honk honk. Huh? I'm hit! You know, if she'd done that right at the start, she could have avoided this whole situation. But if she did that, we would have never witnessed such a fantastic performance. He's talking about watching me poop, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like watching me poop too? <laughs> I should have known you were behind this. Good luck trying to prove it. I found your wig. Shit. The next time you guys feel like screwing with people's lives, leave me out of it. Thanks to you, I was nearly killed by that slasher movie reject. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? Good evening, and welcome to The Third is the Word, the nation's hottest late-night radio talk show. I'm your host, The Third. Tonight's topic, child abuse, and how it's paving the way for the serial killers of tomorrow. We'll be right back after these messages. Sorry, big guy. Just got a word from the producer. What's wrong? You've been cancelled. It sounds like you two had a blast! <laughs> and now we return to the present timeline. This has been one hell of a day. <laughs> But at least we're back home now, where nothing bad can happen- Welcome back, Yuki Teru. Ah! Haru, are you out of your mind? What the hell are you doing here? I suspect that Miss Kasa is guilty of committing a crime. Sadly, I don't have any evidence to support this claim, so I just broke into her house to see if I could find something that would incriminate her. Do you see the irony in that? What do you mean? Never mind. So I take it you've already seen the super secret corpse room? Indeed I have. Though I have to say I was a little disappointed at the lack of corpses inside. So instead of a room full of corpses, we now have a giant hole that takes up half the yard. Somehow that's worse! As you can clearly see, the hole was dug entirely by Miss Gasai, using nothing but a garden variety shovel. Wait, how did you reach that conclusion? Because she's you know f***ing Gasai. Got it. Did somebody call me? Ah! Yuki, I just had this wonderful dream where we got married! You may kiss the bride! Oh no! Yuno's awake! Quick, Aru! Run away before she pushes you into her big gaping hole! Why would I do something like that, Yuki? Murder is bad and stuff. Huh? Everything makes sense now. What do you mean? Don't you see, Yuki Teru? No, I don't. Enlighten me. Yuno Gasai is suffering from... Amnesia! Because she isn't trying to kill you? No, because you had previously mentioned her big gaping hole, and she didn't reciprocate with one of her inappropriate sex puns. You know has amnesia. That explains everything. Hello, everyone. How are you? Why, thank you. I were a bird. Wait a minute, Gary. If you know dug that hole all by herself, how come she doesn't have biceps as thick as tree trunks? Because only one person is allowed to have big biceps in this show, Dave. Is it me, Gary? Yeah. Hooray! 